This seems to be the only good left to take on the situation. A cab. The shooter had a right to defend himself um, and property, but it's shitty law enforcement government failures that put him under the scenario. Do you think people would be any happier if cops were out there? I'm muting donations. Do you think people would be any happier if cops were out there shooting um, rioters instead? Like... I know a guy that didn't start open carrying until his wife was divorcing him and trying to take the house. Nice. Okay, never mind. I'm just skipping that one donation message. It was stupid as fuck. You've been from the subreddit for almost agreeing with you, but condemning Kyle. But it's okay, because you said that would happen, and I knew it would happen. Nice. I probably banned almost maybe 300 people. I don't know. I'm not keeping track. Banning a fuck ton of people from the sub, but that's good. Kami's out. <clears throat> if you email me, I usually unban you. After arguing with people under your threads, I found out most people are saints who would give up their property rather than engage in any conflict whatsoever. Yeah, people, there's just, it's actually like so many unbelievable arguments, I'm not even sure where to start. Like, is property worth a life? Well, no, not really, but nobody's making that trade. Is If somebody's willing to destroy your property, is it worth defending it? when it might end up in them dying. That's a totally different question. Nobody's like, you don't go to the store and trade one house, one house for one life, please. If you're trying to steal or break somebody else's shit and they tell you to fuck off and you don't, eh, fuck you, don't care what happens to you. That is the one take that I will always, 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 always be consistent on. Maybe it's different for some people. Maybe if you grew up rich, maybe if you're like online lefties that grew up in the hills, maybe it's different for you. But for me, I think if you're trying to steal somebody's shit and they're telling you to fuck off and you're not, I think you automatically forfeit your life at that point. You're, you, you're submitting yourself to their, um, to whatever they want to do to you at that point. Good luck. Uh, Bad Bunny, I don't care. Stop linking Bad Bunny's tweets about Bad Bunny doesn't know what, Bad Bunny doesn't know what fascism is. Bad Bunny doesn't know what capitalism is. And Bad Bunny doesn't know what anti-capitalism is. Bad Bunny is literally a, she's like a machine that puts together all of the buzzwords that she's learned to try to like maintain this little disparate group of friends that she's desperately trying to hold on to because she has nothing else in her life because her entire community is like full of like six or seven of the same circle jerkers that put up with her constant abuse and harassment. Like, and, and then that's all she can do. It's like, what words do I need to say to hold on to the few people that I have in my life that haven't turned their back on me yet? I don't care what Bad Bunny says. Seriously, stop. Stop linking her tweets. There'll be sad things that we turn back and we look at two years from now when she's gone, okay? No one cares, all right? Does the property being insured change in any way? No. No, it doesn't. No. Thank you, Stephen, for this recent take. It has really helped me introduce nuance into my takes instead of just being a brainless lefty. I 100 agree with you here. Bonus meme, listen to Jack Stalbury. I don't care if you agree or disagree with me. Just don't be a fucking moron. People saying that it's just insurance. It's like, but I, I, I really, 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 I really do think, and it's like something that I need to be mindful of, and I've lost this a lot recently. I really do think a lot of the kids that argue about this on Twitter are just rich white kids from the suburbs. So to them, at the end of the day, it is just items and it is just property. Like that's all it means to them. It's like, these are items. My mom and dad can buy me another one in an instance. Like, I don't care. Like. That's what it is at the end of the day to them. And I think that I think that people like me that came from poorer backgrounds, I think we view property differently. Like property to Stop me, your th back. these are like no. hours of my life that Please. I trade to get these things. Like sometimes your possessions are literally like the only things that you have to show for what you've done in life, <laughs> right? That might be like a house that you have, that might be a car you have, that might be your possessions. These are the only things that you have to show for what you've like got gained in your life. Um, for, for really wealthy people, though, I mean, maybe they don't mean as much to you. Maybe your college degree is more important to you. Or maybe the, you know, the vacations that you took to Disney World or, or Key Largo or I don't know where rich people go to vacation at. Maybe those are the things that you hold on to more. Um, and then even, like, what people are saying, like, don't you have insurance? Like, if I were to, like, walk through neighborhoods and just destroy, like, 30 cars, like, well, aren't they insured? Yeah, maybe they are. I don't know. I mean, what? Aren't, do you have insurance? Like... Go riot, go go riot with life insurance then, and then at least nobody will be sad when your ass gets blown away, like fuck. Qu clip me on that one, I don't care dude, clip me on all of them dude. Clip me on all of them, alright? I'll defend, that. I say this, but like, no one's gonna actually argue with me, because they all know that they're wrong. But if anybody wants to argue with me on any clip, I'll defend any fucking thing I've said over the past two days. Would you have killed that saxophone, the sa uh, for that saxophone if you saw the guy taking it? If I had the, the means and opportunity to? Without a second thought, yeah of course. What do you mean? Yeah.
Do you think you would have had the wherewithal to understand that perspective if you didn't live through it and instead of a cushy life? Um, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think so. But who knows? Right now, when you report. Oh, right now, I wouldn't. I can just buy another saxophone. I don't give a fuck who steals my shit. No, I can just buy more shit. It's not worth dying over. But when I was poor, my shit would have been worth dying over. Do you honestly think it's the same situation with Paolo? He literally did not need to be there. Neither did the protesters. They didn't need to be there past curfew. Neither did the rioters. They didn't need to be there blowing shit up. Kyle? Um, ready? You ready? Yeah, more hot takes, dude. I'll drop, dude. I'll be a fascist all you want. You want more hot takes? A, a, a white trash redneck militia man with an AR-15 has way more right to be in any one of those neighborhoods in front of any one of those businesses than some dipshit ass fucking protester out there past curfew shipped in from fucking Seattle or some shit. 100%. 100%. Don't talk to me about who has a right to fucking be there. Jacob, Blake, not only. Doesn't it sound like the sunk cost loss fallacy when you bring up how much you had to work for acquiring a good? I, I don't, I just, I don't think you, I don't think you understand. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't help you, I can't help you understand, I can't help you understand what it's like. When you acquire things as a poor person, um, you know how when they say, like, when you look at how a mortgage is done, you know how, like, 90% of the, the initial payments are towards interest? When you work and you're poor, oftentimes anywhere from 90 to 110% of your money is going towards bills and shit. So, like, if you've actually saved up enough to buy things or to build wealth, whether it's through owning a home, whether it's through having an instrument, in my case, right, going to school for saxophone, whether it's through um, having a car or, or whatever little things you manage to gather, like, if you spent your life a acquiring these things and some spoiled ass motherfucker thinks he's gonna walk in and steal your shit like they're not just items like these things represent hundreds or thousands of hours of your life like you have to love you but like you you have to spend so much time getting this stuff that when people say it's just property it's just items like, it's not. It's so much more than that. All this shit is insured, especially in the case of businesses. How? Okay. I'm So, I'm going to, um, okay. My aunt owns a really expensive house in Florida. And she had um, hurricane damage that happened to her house. Um, I don't remember when this was. Ten years ago? There was a big hurricane or something. And um, hurricane came through and destroyed like so much of the, the the backyard and caused property damage to the house and everything was it wilma it might have been wilma um totally 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 fucked all that shit up um but she had she had insurance it was fine 100 percent. so um i think the claim was for like i think like 50 or sixty thousand dollars. um so she filed the claim they paid out all the money she fixed it all she even had a little bit left over it was amazing that's how insurance worked except not at all. What actually happened was step one, I think, was adjusters came out to review the property. Step two, once they confirmed damage, somebody else came out to get an estimate. Step three, what happened was some people came out to do 10% of the work. Some of the funds were released to my aunt that she had to pay for some of the people to do some of the work. Then other people came out to do more of the work. More funds had to be released from the insurance for her, them to release more funds for her to pay out to some people to do some other work. And then through this whole process, I think it took her like two fucking years for her to get like all of the funds from her insurance paid out to all of the people that came by to do all of the work. This idea that you just like, oh, lost my $3 million business. Ah, insurance paid me $3.5 million. Ah, all is good is total bullshit. Like this idea that insurance is so fucking easy to just like... And not to mention that while you're doing this, your business isn't growing, you're not making any money, you're losing goodwill with your customers, like you're losing your place in the in the in the neighborhood or in the community as like a business. Like Destiny, a hurricane hit my area in 2008. It was still 2016, so all the funds have been paid out. Like, and I, I understand the 
I understand the rationale, and 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 it's where like um this is where I like lose the empathy a little bit. But I ha I, I have very little empathy for people that have very little empathy. That's my that's a big blind spot of mine. Um, I understand that like most of these people online are just kids that have no idea what they're talking about. Like the average age of like a Vosh or Hassan fan, it wouldn't surprise me. It was probably like 16, 17 years old. Like, so for a lot of these people, they probably do think insurance is like, oh, my, like I call the insurance guy and say like, hey, there was like $20 million in damage in my, in my property. And the insurance guy is like, oh dude, but you got insurance, bro. You're totally tight, dog. Like, oh sick, man. Like, so if I check like Chase later, you're gonna have that, those funds wired to my account. Yeah, dude, no problem. Like, happy doing business with you. Oh, sick, man. Hold on. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, repairman. Hey, you're the guy that I call that just knows how to fix everything, right? I don't have to call, like, different multiple people or, like, get things approved by whatever or go through, like, different fucking parts of my company. Like, I just call one guy. You're going to come fix everything, right? Yeah, I just got all the money. So I'm just going to send you all the money, and then you're going to come, and you're going to be able to fix things real quick, right? I'm going to ignore the fact that there's multiple properties damaged in the area. I'm going to ignore the fact that your business might be damaged. I'm gonna, you're just going to be able to fix it all real fast, right? Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's great. So I got my insurance payment pretty quick. Um, I paid it all out to one guy who fixed everything pretty quick. And now um, everything is like fixed pretty quick. Like how easy? Like it's so funny because people think that's how it works. But then <clears throat> if I were to say it's so – it's interesting to me. And this is where like I feel crazy because people say that I'm right wing. I'm not. I'm just really consistent with what I believe. Because for all the people saying, don't you have insurance, bro? Imagine how clipped I would be. Imagine how much fucking hate I would get if some fucking dipshit on Twitter was crying about cancer. And I tweeted and I was like, bro, don't you have medical insurance? Bro, don't you have health insurance? Should take care of it easy, right? Whoa, hold on. Well, wait, well, with health insurance, the insurance companies try to fuck you. Well, wait, but there's deductibles. Um, but hold on, they don't, they're not always clear about what they cover. Well, oh, okay. Well, so when we're talking about medical insurance, well, now just getting cancer and having insurance, you know, now it's not quite as simple. Well, now we're going to talk about all the nuances of what makes insurance difficult. We're going to ignore the fact that some people aren't even insured, um, right? Well, now it's like a way different conversation. But when it comes to businesses owning insurance, oh, well, you know, they got insurance. LOL, it's fine. Just let Shut people run by and up, destroy right? their it's shit. stupid right? fucking meme. What do you think of all the people trying to ban you over the redneck clip? I mean, it's, I don't know what to say. I, def, I, I defend people defending property. They want to defend property, whether it's the, even if it's their community property, then God, go for it. It's all, it's all you, dude. I'm, I, I'm always going to, I'm never going to be bullied out of that position. I guess maybe if I got in trouble for it, I wouldn't talk about it as much, but no, I 100% support people defending property against violent rioters. If you want to protest, then fucking go protest. Amen. I love protesters. Okay. It's an important part of the American fucking experiment or whatever protesting is. Rioting has no place in this country. Unless you want to go riot against government shit. Go blow up a fucking federal building or some shit. Knock yourself out. Uh, well, don't blow up a federal building. I'm not telling you to go blow it up. But, like, as soon as you start, like, destroying, like, personal or private property, eh, fuck you. You lose everything. Don't give a fuck about you anymore. Can you explain this clip? I feel like it was taken out of context. Rioting needs to fucking stop. The rioting needs to fucking stop. And if that means like white redneck fucking militia dudes out there mowing down dipshit protesters that think that they could torch buildings at 10 p.m., then at this point they have my Fuck fucking it. blessing. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, people want to go and defend their shit against people. They want to fucking blow buildings up and set shit on fire. Yeah, I'll, de I'll defend this against anybody that wants to argue with me about it. Nobody will. Nobody will. They'll, they'll, they can quote you or whatever. But yeah, if you want to go out and be an arsonist, well, good luck. That's all I'll have to say. And I will be laughing all the way fucking home when you make your sad fucking Twitter threads, when people start their GoFundMes for the proceedings, blah, blah, blah. Don't give a fuck. No fucks given whatsoever. If you've decided that you're going to go out and set people's buildings and shit on fire, don't give a fuck about it. I don't care. And you know what? <clears throat> you know what? It has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. This is like the other, this is the other funny thing. Like lefties have made it so that defending rioters like is essential for you to support the protests or BLM. I support protests and BLM 100%. Doesn't mean I have to support rioters. The same way that just because I don't support the military doesn't mean I don't support the troops. 
just because I don't want to fucking pledge to the flag doesn't mean I hate this country. Like, fucking fuck you that. for trying to wrap it all up into the same fucking thing. D A fuck it, dude. Yeah. Destiny, the reason to bring up insurance isn't to justify stealing, but lowers the bar for using deadly threat because the value of the items decreases significantly. How is it so hard to understand? I must agree with you, but not. I don't care if you agree with me or not, okay? My personal view, and I have never heard a good argument to change it. If you've decided that you're going to go out and you're going to be an arsonist, I think anybody has any right to, to defend against that with lethal force. I think you forfeit your right to life as soon as you've decided that your desire to destroy somebody else's shit supersedes their desire for it to not be destroyed. Yeah, I think that's a pretty... I don't even think that's really a controversial take. But, yeah, that's where I stand on that. How is that different to the death penalty? How is... How is killing some... How is defending your property with... Lethal force You're a genius, different dude. than capturing somebody, having them in a jail when they're no longer a threat, and then killing them. I don't know, Roosby. Roosby, why don't you tell us what, maybe just one death, way death, that those death, two death, things death, are different? Death, death. Why don't you tell us, Roosby? We'll wait and we'll see if you can figure it out on your own without me giving you the answer. Destiny, I agree with your position. Would you have to let this issue come to dominate your content for three days straight? Hilda Dine and all that. People say Hilda Dine when you won't just bend over and take their position. Like, I'll die on every single hill I have for a position on because I'm not saying shit to make money. I don't need to add another zero behind my fucking socialist Patreon <laughs> to, like, feel better about, like, the shit that I do. So, yeah, I'll die on this. I'll die on, I'll die on every single fucking hill that I have a position on. Of course I will. Like, the only reason this is dominating my content for three days in a row is because dipshits like Vosh are arguing that if you're a woman, you should get gang raped before shooting somebody that might rape you like yeah I'm, of course i'm gonna die in a hill where other people are defending why fucking are lynching so that's, un that's unbelievable of course is every arson is sentenced to death if you are approaching somebody's property and and they're saying hey please don't come blow my shit up and you're like i'm gonna come blow your shit up and they're like listen dude if you come to blow my shit up i'm gonna fucking kill you and you're like i'm gonna blow your shit up anyway nah Good luck. You can defend your property without killing a person, no? I don't know. Can you? Can everybody walk out and engage somebody in, in, in WCW, WWF, UFC, MMA, martial arts to do it? Are we all superheroes from fucking Marvel or DC movies? What do you think, dude? I don't think somebody should be obligated to risk their life for the subhuman trash that's decided to show up to destroy their business. No, I don't agree with that. I think you should expediently take care of them in the safest manner to you possible. Because I don't think that somebody that's being aggressed upon has a moral obligation to submit themselves to more possible harm to defend themselves against somebody that, without provocation, is trying to destroy their shit. No, I feel, and, and the crazy thing is, is that I don't even feel like that's a controversial take. It feels like pretty simple to me. Like, but I, I think that most people would agree that it's a controversial take, unless, and I admit this, because it's my blind spot, Unless you were a very, very, very wealthy kid from the Burbs. You said protester in that clip. Would you say that you meant writer? I said in that clip. What did I say in that clip exactly? Wait, what did I say exactly in that clip? Did I say protester or did I say... Shit, protesters that think that they can torch buildings at 10 p.m.? Protesters that can torch buildings at 10 p.m. I guess if you want to pretend that I meant all protesters because it makes it a little bit easier for you to deal with. I mean, you can. That's fine. But like... I said rioters in the beginning of the clip, and I said protesters that torch buildings past 10 p.m. It's pretty obvious what I'm talking about. Why are you up playing property but downplaying life? Your life has no value if you think that you can go and destroy other people's shit. It's as easy as that. Like, sorry. It's just so easy. That's such an... That's, but again, like, maybe, again, maybe it's like a difference in background. But that's like a really easy thing for me to understand. I don't know why it's not you to, for you to understand. Like... If I were to go walk out into a neighborhood and I were to start blowing people's houses up, I would be like ready for somebody to kill me. Like that's what I would expect as, as like a like a response to me. I'd probably go with the gunners and I'd be like, okay, fuck, I'm gonna start blowing people's houses up. You're I'm gonna genius, I'm gonna assume that dude. somebody's probably gonna fucking try to kill me. Like this that's, is not how I expect. Like that's what I would expect in my head for for it to happen. Like, but.
Yeah, the funny thing is, is that what I should be doing is I should be bringing up other pieces of property. Because if I was using different property instead of homes, um, I think you guys would be, if I instead, like, if somebody is coming to torch your house, do you think you have a right to kill that person if they do it? Well, no, Destiny. Oh, what if somebody was coming to set your dog or cat on fire? I bet people's opinions on it would change so much. But what, who the fuck cares? He's just a fucking animal. Like, do you, think that's, do you think that your dog is worth more to you than somebody's house might be worth to them that their fucking family lives in? Like, but, but again, like, this is all, like, so obvious to me. Like, I, I don't know. Are there people actually disagreeing with this take, or is it more just the semantics of it? Well, people are doing a big Mott and Bailey on me right now. I see it. Maybe you guys don't. That's fine. I don't really give a fuck that much. But what people are trying to do is people are trying to say, I just have a problem with Destiny's rhetoric. But then when you go back and you dig in more, no, they actually have a big problem with my position. My rhetoric is easy to attack because I'm an asshole. I am an asshole. Um, and that's fine. And I will laugh at people that die because they try to fist fight um, riflemen on the street. I'm always going to laugh at that. Just like how I think it's a little bit funny that Rush Limbaugh died. He is dead, right? Of lung cancer? Or does he just have lung cancer? Wait, did Rush Limbaugh genius, actually dude. die? Or... Oh, no, he's still alive. Anyway, just when I think it's kind of funny that Rush Limbaugh has lung cancer and he bragged about smoking cigars all fucking day every day. I think that's kind of funny. I also think it's kind of funny when, when people that are pieces of shit, when pedophiles that run around screaming the N-word in public uh, lose a fist fight with a guy with, a, with an AR-15. Like, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty funny. Uh, but anyways, my, my rhetoric is easy to attack. So that's fine. But it's not the rhetoric they have a problem with. It's the messaging. Because behind all of the, I just think Destiny is an asshole, you're getting all these people that are unironically saying like, oh yeah, like, I don't think the riots are bad. Like, I defend the riots. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I've seen so many messages like that, you know? You're a fucking statistician. Thoughts on people protecting property that has no relation to them. Thoughts on people protesting races that they aren't. Thoughts on people protesting issues that don't directly affect them. There are a lot of white people protesting the death of George Floyd. Why? A lot of people in Portland were protesting on behalf of people in Chicago, Baltimore, D.C., Atlanta. Why? Is it, like, I don't believe that you're, if you're asking that question, it's either in bad faith or it's because you are, um, or it's because you're, you haven't thought about anything at all ever. Um, oh shit, somebody sent me an email to explain that when I just do that, I need to explain this more. Because if I'm using this, a lot of people are too stupid to understand what I'm saying. I'm sorry. So let me go back and walk you through what I just said. Because I realize how many of you are actually fucking clueless. Because half of you watching me right now are unironically probably say you're socialist. But you think I would still like you if I met you. I wouldn't. Okay? Sorry, let me walk it back. So, when you say, what about defending property that's not yours? And then I counter with, what about protesting on behalf of somebody like Black Lives Matter if you're white? I'm not actually saying, um, I'm not saying that's stupid to protest for BLM if you're white. What I'm saying is, oh, other people can identify with a cause and they can show up and protest for it. That white people can, can protest on behalf of George Floyd. That people in cities across America can protest on behalf of police violence in certain areas. Now, I think that's perfectly okay. Sorry, I, somebody emailed me and, and reminded me, they were like, I think some, one of the reasons why people get so mad when you do things like that is because they don't understand that you're actually like agreeing with them, but showing them how ridiculous with it. So I have to, I'm, now I realize I have to walk you through that. Um, sorry, yeah. So backing up, so when you ask me, I always think these rhetorical tricks are very clever because I can very quickly show you how irrational an argument is. But I realize, actually, I, I have to just explain all of it anyway. Um, when, you, when you ask me, um, what about people defending property that's not theirs? It's, if people want to defend the idea that people shouldn't be out rioting and looting like businesses and shit, I don't think you have to own a business to do that. I don't think you have to own a property to protect from rioting or looting. Like if that's part of your community, even if it's not part of your community, if it's part of the idea that as an American, you should be able to stand out and defend property from rioters or protesters, um, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think that every single Korean that showed up to, de to defend the uh, properties and the businesses during the LA riots, I don't think they all owned all of those buildings. I'm sure there were a lot of friends and family there, but yeah. What is this? Four minute wash clip. I don't care. So to clarify, can police kill riders too or just the property owners? I, police should be doing it first, probably. I mean, like the, the problem is that the police don't have this under control right now, but I'm not sure what the police are supposed to do. I don't know how that's supposed to work.
Most poor people don't support taking a life over property. Some of them might do if the situation occurs, but in principle, they don't. Please stop being the only person who's that should happen to them. It's still not that horrible to take, though. What Somebody was posting a whole bunch of stats earlier. Don't, like, how many, like, the percentage of homeless people that, like, kill themselves is, like, massively increased. Or, like, I think the suicides in um, New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina hit, like, tripled. Why did all those fucking morons in, in um, New Orleans kill themselves? Like, it's just property. It's just items. Why are you guys putting defeals in chat? Like, how stupid are they? Why would they kill themselves? It's just items. It's just things. It's just memes. Like, who cares? Like, <clears throat> the funny thing is, is that you could turn that whole argument around and literally dismantle all of socialism. Like, oh, like, it's just things? It's just, what, material conditions? Like, isn't that literally the entirety of what you fight for are the material conditions of the proletariat? But now you're telling me things don't matter? It's, a, it's a, quite, quite, the, uh, quite the contradictory position to take up there, but okay. What was your take on the McMichaels that got fucked for brandishing guns to protect their house two months ago? Was that the place in St. Louis? I thought they had every right to brandish firearms. Well, brandish firearms. Not, not brandish, I shouldn't say. They had every right to step outside with firearms and defend their shit. I think it's stupid to step outside and do that. Um, but um, my, my criticisms with them was that it seemed like they didn't know how to handle their shit. Like, when you're, like, holding a gun and, like, waving it around, like, that guy fucking um, sweeped his wife, like, ten times or some shit. I think his wife did the same. They're, like, they had no idea how the fuck to control their firearms. But if you want to defend your property, 100%, that's fucking fine, dude. Like, I'm more ride or die on houses than businesses, but... What if somebody were to destroy police cars, but a civilian stepped in to defend the cars? Do they have the right to stop the destruction of the car? Nah, fuck that. Why are you defending government property? That's cucked as fuck. That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different ballpark. Torture your cock and balls must endure. <laughs> Two spaces forward, your cock will be stretched. <laughs> <laughs>